Okay, my earring might fall out because I took the back off. It was making it not sit properly. Anywho, hi, hello, how are you? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, you guys. Happy New Year, my first video of 2020. Hopefully it's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be something that's gonna be useful for you guys. I've been wanting to make this video for ages, sharing with you my favorite fragrances. I am a nut for a nice fragrance. I just love smelling good and smelling nice things. Um, I, it's actually a pet peeve of mine for things to not smell nice. Um, and so I wanted to film this year, like I said, for ages. And then I realized that some of you might be out doing sales shopping. And although I haven't purchased any of these necessarily in the sales because they're like long-term favorites that I've had for a while, or most of them are, um, these, some of these might be on sale in some shops right now. So it might be uh, a nice way for you guys to try out something different for yourself or for gifts. I think fragrances make a great gift for whatever the name the occasion, right? Birthdays, anniversaries, um, Eid's coming up, whatever. Mother's Day, Father's Day, the rest of that. Valentine's Day. These are in no particular order, but I have chosen both male and female fragrances. And I literally went through Hubsy's collection, starting off with my, actually it is kind of an order because this is my ultimate top favorite fragrance. It's Chanel's Coco Mademoiselle. We should make it a bit more French, right? Mademoiselle. I love this fragrance. I bought this, oh, like three years ago. Sorry, this video, I promise you, it's not gonna be a compilation of me making strange sounds. I'm gonna try my best to describe these fragrances to you, okay? Now, to me, this just screams classic, chic, classy, just very Chanel. It's a very warm, feminine fragrance, but it's also quite strong. Now, I am one to kind of get more Eau de Parfum, is that how you pronounce it? Which is like the stronger version, which is what this is, of fragrances. Um, however, I've got actually two Eau de Toilettes, that being said, in here. Um, were they gifts? Yeah, they were gifts. But when I have to buy them for myself, I do tend to go for the more intense ones. Now. I love this because it lasts for absolutely ages and I only need to do like one spray. So I'll do one spray like round about here in this area so a little bit kind of catches onto my scarf. I love having my scarf smell nice because I love having my scarf smell nice because uh, not just for myself because it's obviously near to my face but also when I'm like greeting people or greeting, you know, my friends or giving them a hug. I just like for people to, you know, smell something nice. So you, you smell nice, it's kind of, it's a nice way to say hello, I think. So yeah, this requires like one spray and it is quite strong. The thing with this fragrance is that there isn't anything particularly, um, hot. it's strong, but it's not harsh. So there isn't like a strong zesty scent to it or a strong floral scent to it. It's just, very warm and inviting, that's one way that I would describe this scent. Now, listen, recently they then released the intense version of the Coco Mademoiselle. I could not resist getting it. And you guys, could I possibly love this one more? I barely used it, uh, but I possibly love this one more than its predecessor because it's a little bit warm. Hang on, this, that lid is bugging me, I need to pick it up. I'm not spraying onto my wrists because I'm so covered with scents right now because I was testing some earlier. So I find that the intense one is slightly more, I want to say mature, it's a little bit more woody and warm. Um, and I can definitely smell like this kind of vanilla and patchouli kind of fragrance coming through more so than the original Mademoiselle. They are both absolutely gorgeous. If I had to choose one, I would say go for the, just go for the Intense. I think it's limited edition as well. So get your hands on it while you can. Now, my next favorite fragrance, I have mentioned this before, it is still a favorite, so I can't not mention it, is the D&G Light Blue fragrance. I just realized this is the Eau de Toilette. I'm gonna get the Parfum if it comes in that version. I have loved this fragrance 
basically since I met Hubsy. This was the first fragrance that he gifted to me. I remember it was like just after, I guess, do you know what? The memory of it is like attached to the smell because the brain does fuse these things together. And so I think that's why it's always going to remain a favorite. But yeah, when you first like told me he liked me, I know. <laughs> he then gave me, gifted me this. And um, it was like the nicest gift that I had, I had got a boy had ever given to me and so I love it so this has a really strong even though I'm not actually into citrusy scents this definitely has kind of like a lemon grassy scent coming through the great thing about that is that that it cuts through anything it's really refreshing it's a great pick-me-up it'll put you in a good mood I think that this would be great for someone that you know who is into more of the less floral but more um perfumes with quite a strong personality i feel like this definitely does stand out from a lot of the perfumes that i've that i've come across especially recently i've seen a lot of like floral perfumes come out um i noticed in armani and in gucci they had and then i was trying out some fragrances in versace and i smelt they were strong but they all kind of had this um floral vibe going on so i don't know if that's like the trending thing right now um, this definitely goes against the grain and I think that it would be just a really nice present actually also for someone who if you're not sure what someone likes that might be the thing to go for because you know florals are that go-to thing aren't they um, for most people when you think of gifting especially for females um, but if you know of someone who's not really into florals or sweet smells that would be a great one to go for okay my next favorite is is this the most affordable of them all possibly this is actually a body spray. It's the Lush Snow Fairy Body Spray. Spritz yourself with a little bit of magic and wrap yourself in a cloak of candy floss and bubble gum. Ah, oh, you feel like eating yourself when you spray yourself with this. I mean, look, it's in the name, isn't it? Snow Fairy, and they've described it as being a mixture of candy floss and bubble gum. This smells divine. Now they only release this every Christmas and at the moment I think it's half price. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure my sister said it's half price at the moment. I have actually had this for a year and I still have loads left. It's lasted me forever because I actually only ever use it when I come out of the shower and I like chop and change what I use when I come out of the shower. So I love to moisturize my body. I love using like body creams and scents on my body when I hop out of the shower. Um, now, if I'm in a bit of a rush and I don't have the time to, you know, get out body cream and then like moisturize my body and spend that time kind of massaging myself, um, then what I do is I just kind of do a few spritzes of this, either rub in or leave it and then, you know, get dressed. But this really does smell super sweet, very... It's just a very delicious smelling scent and it lingers on the body for absolutely ages. I love this. Leans fell in love with it and so I bought her own, her, her own bottle this year. Um, and I just think it's a really lovely gift to give to anyone really. Um, and if it comes, you know what, when I went into Lush to get this for Leans, the first time I went they didn't have any and then they had more in. And I was like, do you know what? The sales assistant was right because she was saying to me that people come in and buy these in bulk because they know that they only release them over the christmas period so um yeah if they're still in your local lush i highly recommend moving on to the next perfume this is actually a little teeny tiny version of the means nasak i want to say nasak nasak now I've got a small version of this. They gave me, they gifted me a whole set of, of these mini ones and then I had like the bigger versions, which are also nice. So I also had, um, one is carved oud. The other one is, I can't remember, but I, I do have two full versions, which are nice also, but Nasak is my favorite out of all of them. Mmm, this smells really warm, really oudy, but not overpowering oud. Now, the thing with the Thameen fragrances is that they are quite strong some of them are a bit too strong like hubsy doesn't like me wearing them when he's driving because it gives him a headache it's like that type of super strong that can also be a good thing because if you like oh, just uh, do one spray like on yourself oh thank you chai, chai, chai. thank you how would you describe this your fave oh, it's my favorite very kind of arabian eastern like influence yeah it's very like bukhur 
yeah. hide. You That's know the exactly bukhura that you that you burn in the house. Every time she wears it, I always ask her, "What is that?" Pristine. Yeah, you do. Some of them are strong for you, but this one you love. But I, I love this one number? too. And look, there's a tiny bit left. You know what? These bottles are deceptively spacious. This is actually for those of you who might have like a selection of oud perfumes, which after a while they all do kind of start to smell quite similar, don't they? Um, this one, I, I think, really stands out from the rest. If you could describe a perfume like music, this just has a very deep hum to it. But it's nice, it's pleasant. It's also, I think, quite unisex. I, I think it leans more towards smelling more feminine, but um, it, it I, I mean, a guy could get away with wearing that as well, I think. I'm a catch, apparently. I recently switched to decaf, you guys. I'm really proud. So I have some caffeine in the morning and then for the rest of the millions of cups of tea that I have during the day, I have switched to decaf. Okay, my next fave is Dior's Poison Girl. Oh. I've had more than one of these. These are great and they come in, I mean, this is the travel version. I like to use it for when I'm traveling. I mean, look at it. You chuck it in your bag, right? It looks really nice when you take it out and you put some on. But especially when I'm going into London and I'm traveling by train or by tube. IMO, this one is floral. It's quite sweet. It actually also has kind of a fruity, fruity kind of tone to it. I love Dior even more since they used Bella Hadid and my ultimate fave, Natalie Portman, who is like one of the most beautiful women ever. Um, since they use them as ambassadors, I just love them even more. Moving on to my favorite male perfumes, starting off with Carolina Herrera. Carolina, Carolina? Carolina Herrera, 212. Mmm, this is so nice. So, Hubsy wears this a lot. All of these are, the, the male ones that I'm about to show you, are very, um, very different to the female ones. Um, I personally like for men's scents to smell very manly. Um, and so I think that's why I, I was drawn to these from his collection. he has got a really big collection of perfumes and these are my favourites. This to me does smell a little bit fruity, but like in a male way, if that makes sense. Like in a masculine way. Can there be a masculine fruity? I don't know. I'm kind of sorry if I'm being offensive with my descriptions of gender, but it's definitely very musky. Sorry about the noise in the background. My sister's visiting with her baby. The next one is Izzy Miyake. So this one is a little bit stronger. Now, you have to let this one settle. When you first spray this, like I'm not gonna spray it right now, because when I first smell it, it's a bit strong and it kind of, my first reaction, not gonna lie and don't let this put you off, was like it smells like a cleaning product at first. But when it settles, especially when it settles on clothing, more so than skin, like I love this on Hubsy's jumpers, it settles into a really deep aroma and it's not strong and an assault on your senses as it first is in my opinion when you first spray it. When you catch it kind of in a subtle way, you get a kind, of, again, a musky kind of scent. But also it's a bit woody, it's a bit, it's a bit sandalwoody, it's a bit, it reminds me of, um, I don't know, a bit of a sandalwood, it kind of reminds me of India a bit, actually. Sort of smell, really, really lovely, and just very, um, again, quite unique. It's very different, and this is a proper classic, that one is. Um, I'm tempted to say they don't make them like they used to, but it's not true, I do like a lot of the newer fragrances as well. But with the male, men's fragrances, I really love, like, a lot of the classics. Speaking of classics, Gucci Guilty. For men is gorgeous is there any left yes there is now these guys have got loads of floral scents out at the moment which i like i, I do like floral scents but i like a bit of a twist to them i don't because you can get floral scents anywhere right in a way i like floral a, a hint of floral with something stronger coming through so this doesn't really have much of floral. It definitely has, again, that lemony. Hubsy's, like I said, really into like his lemony scents. And so this does have a bit of a lemon, but then there's something warmer in there as well. Probably something musky. Again, very strong. Like this is definitely a male's perfume. And it kind of reminds me of a bit essential oily, I want to say, but not, not it's, it's not like an essential oil. Maybe something, I don't know. Not mint, possibly a bit of lavender or something in there as well. 
it's really nice it's very unusual and this is actually my favorite of all the different ones that they've got out right now i prefer this even to the female ones that they've got out at the moment although there is one that has a very strong jasmine tone to it i was kind of torn i was going to buy it the other day and i put it off it was one of those things that i'd smelled so many perfumes um that i was like because you know with all these sales going on you have to go and pick up a perfume and um, i was like i'm feeling really overwhelmed i don't know if i actually like this perfume so i might go back and get it okay the last one is armani's oud royal now this is definitely a very classic oud smell and it's quite strong similar to my mademoiselle this one spray in my opinion does the job and it will last this really does cling to wherever you put it on your clothes your skin and it's it is a very classic traditional warm woody oud smell now don't get me wrong i do love oud however i have a lot of fragrances that contain oud and i burn bukhur and i have oud and there's just so much oud so many brands are doing them right now that i look for something special in an oud now this one has it's oudy but then i also smell a bit of rose in there i think there is something that kind of tones down that strong oud smell and it's just really pretty it's it's definitely a male fragrance but it there's also something really soft there's a soft edge to it as well it reminds me of sort of a warm winter's day sitting by a you know a log fire that type of smell it's really warm and inviting um Hubsy keeps this one in the car because i love the way that it makes the car smell as well yeah the packaging is gorgeous i haven't even mentioned the packaging to you guys they're all pretty gorgeous right I mean, this one, what a good looking pair. <laughs> His and hers. So, yeah, okay, those are all the fragrances. Is that 10 of them? Yeah, I had more and I was like, there has to be a cut off point. At some point, we have to stop talking about them. And so, these are my top 10 fragrances for females and males. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. Um, if you did, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, let me know what your favorite fragrance is. I really do mean it. Let me know because I am forever trying out different fragrances. I actually, initially, you guys, I had like candles in here. I had like room diffusers in here and I was going to make it a nice mix, but then like the collection was getting out of control and I was like, this is going to last an hour. So yeah, regardless of perfumes, body creams, room scents, car scents, whatever, let me know what your faves are. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.